uh, physical and chemical properties. A property is a characteristics of, of something, and we divide these characteristics into two groups, physical and chemical. Um, a physical characteristic, uh, we observe it without changing the composition. So physical properties include things like appearance, melting and boiling points, density, conductivity, physical state. So I look at this mouse, and I see that it's a solid at room temperature. That's a good thing, huh? It being a solid is a physical property. Um, if I measure the melting point of ice, now I've got my cup, my ever-present Starbucks cup, and there's ice melting in my Rockstar. I could measure the temperature of that. By measuring the temperature, I'm not changing what the substance is. It's a physical property. A chemical property is something that describes the reactions of a pure substance. So that'll be something like this. Sodium reacts with oxygen to form sodium oxide. That describes a chemical property. When we observe that chemical property, the sodium and the oxygen are no longer there, and we have sodium oxide. The particles have changed. So a chemical property, when we describe it or observe it, it involves the particles changing of reaction. So examples of physical properties... Um, I think that's something you can read. Here's an example. <clears throat> so, chemist is, is trying to characterize a substance and makes these observations. Let's identify them as chemical or physical. First one, substance is a silver, silvery white, lustrous metal. Physical. We can observe that without changing the substance at all. It melts at 649 degrees C and boils at 1105. That's physical. Anytime we're looking at a state change, melting, freezing, boiling, condensing, subliming, depositing, that is a physical property. Its density, is that physical or chemical? Physical. 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 That's a physical property. The substance burns in air, producing an intense white light. Chemical. There's something changing about it, right? It reacts with chlorine gas to give a brittle white solid. Chemical. Chemical. You can pound it into um, a sheet. Physical. Now, by doing that, are we changing the shape of the substance? Yeah. yeah. Are we changing what it is? No. It's a good conductor of electricity. Physical. So you get the idea?